Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. As the dog starts barking at that exact moment. <laughs> She's like, they're playing their game. It's time to bark. Now is my opportunity. Well, she is not feeling too great. Yeah, poor puppy's got an ear infection and she's in heat. She's got the double whammy of bad things happening to her. All right. Yes, we don't blame her for being cranky pants right now. (laughs) Though I may have to get her butt in if she doesn't stop it. Yeah, she has an appointment tomorrow. It's very hard actually getting a uh, appointment in the COVID era. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yep. In the era of COVID, now they're just like, eh, that's not too much of an emergency. Uh, go, just go to, you know, your your regular doctor. Yeah. Blow smoke in the ear, they'll be fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, this is the part of the country where the candles get used often still. <laughs> And then you have to remind folks, you know, that candle is really just burnt wax, right? (laughs) So the destiny pool is clear. All righty. Oh, I should bring up my character sheet. All right. Get us up. Started off good there. Starting off with the dark side. Okay. (laughs) Oh, lordy. Another dark side. Come on. Lordy! Dark Oh, no. Well, this is looking good. Oh, gosh darn it. Just merely means our heroes is going to have a hard time. And then things will get better a little, a little down the line. We got this. So where last we left off, you guys managed to uh, take out these guys down over here by the beach and prevent their escaping. You, 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 of course, I'm assuming, return them to the security forces here who are quite happy that you basically have done their job for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's amazing how often you can make security forces happy by doing their job for them. <laughs> you took all the chances, and you did our job. Thank you. So uh, you basically were told if you guys wanted a vehicle, which it sounds like you did, that you'd have to come on over here down the path at the base of the mountain there. And uh, yep. And basically the last working vehicle that the rebels haven't destroyed is down over here. So I assume you guys are going to try to sneak your way up there to to see if you can Shanghai a vehicle. Uh, Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to point out to my compatriots that there are these four water down here and suggest that we secure those for later use. <clears throat> okay. Can uh, secure them what with... Uh, well, well, they already had nets on them and stuff, fighting them, right? So Yeah, if there's anything we Wait, can do... Do you want me to make it so yeah. they don't go? That, <laughs> well, I was thinking, yeah, or, you know, that we could have the slicer make sure that even if they take the nets off, they can't go anywhere. Right. Okay, so our, our slicer is going to give me a quick mechanics or a computer roll to uh, sabotage them for your own personal boating pleasure. You know, basically pull out a fuse somewhere and. Are you ready? <laughs> Distributor cap, right? Right. No, no, nothing incredibly fancy. Just basically I'll do a computer s- one. Something that uh, says, "Hey, you require a four-digit to six-digit password." Which, by the way, your difficulty dice are set. Yeah. Bam. Bam. So uh, needless to say, you, you go in there and you're just like immediately going with the manufacturer's user default. And you're putting <laughs> in like this eight digit code that you must require before starting it up. And you're just like, here's the code, guys. And of course, everybody's like, wait, 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 say that again. That was eight numbers. What was that code again? <laughs> and it's like, don't worry. It's the serial number for the ship. And still everybody's like, wait, wait, what, 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 what? what? <laughs> There's a serial number on the ship? <laughs> I thought we scratched those off. 
Rookie mistake. Okay, so you do have the watercraft, the little one person watercraft disabled, so that way you guys alone will be the ones that can use them. Cool. Or you put them in your ship and take them with you and go attack a water world. <laughs> As the case may be. I mean, yeah, anything's it's, possible. We've got to get the other now, things done wanna... first. Okay, so you guys are basically going to head up the hill. Are you guys going to try to do it sneakily, or are you guys just going to run up the road real quick? Uh, I'm going to meander because I'm not good still. Where am I? There I am. Why am I all (laughs) wrong? I'm just gathering you guys together so I can do a quick copy-paste, by the way. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, there's way too many of you guys. That guy, that was a shady guy there. Yep. That yeah. that was a bad guy there, wasn't it? How come Zarek is elongated? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm all elongated for some reason. Because <laughs> he's really statuesque. <laughs> there we go. Now you're conveniently in a little tight pack. So I can go copy and on another page go paste. Makes it way more dramatic. So are you guys opting to uh, sneak? Um, I mean, we can attempt it. I mean, <clears throat> all down with sne- uh, sneaking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can attempt it. If we don't succeed, we don't succeed. I mean, there's there's basic shrubberies and some rocks and stuff you can attempt to hide behind that aren't you know. Just blatant you, blatantly, you guys running right up the, the road. A shrubbery? Which can sometimes be seen <laughs> as, you know, possibly not the best approach if you're just walking up a road. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, um, I, I think we take the stealth aspect. Yeah, why not? We okay, so you guys go ahead and give me stealth rolls. I just need at least half of y'all to pass for yeah. you to be mostly quiet. <laughs> oh. As you may be seeing the map fading into a new map. All right. Let me readjust here. Whoop, whoop, there we go. Actually, um, we still had two of those uh, droids left, didn't we? No, those are holding on to the bad guys. Well, no, we turned them in over to the patrol. No, I totally like that that answer, that first answer there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna send them marching down the road again, <laughs> right? And then we, that would draw a distraction while we sneak. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, all right. You got it, stuff set for stealth. Uh, yep. Yeah, everybody's rolled. Oh, I didn't roll. Uh, well, two, just... of us, two of us succeeded. One has not. See, half of us succeeded. So Jim said. I like how she's immediately doing the Jim said. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I will point out insane. that mine says assist allied characters <clears throat> infiltrating at the same time. So. <laughs> Okay, so so thankfully, I'm assuming I'm just assuming that's where you are behind that brick. As there's some kind of lizardy space dog barking off in the distance. Uh-huh. As you guys are hoping it, it's not their security dog. So you guys are basically t- kind of taking cover behind the rocks and kind of peeking up and see clearly that there's a squad of guys up there with a uh, really, you know, nervous bunch of groups sitting there with their, you know, not long, you're medium range. So, so not, uh, not long range weapons, except for their boss has this heavy blaster carbine. Of course, you know, he he looks like he could shoot somebody from you know from a from a distance. And uh, we all know if anyone t- took that really nice rifle earlier, they could shoot from a long distance. Yeah, but, my rifle uh, shoots long distance. Me, these, these these little troops here with their medium range weapons, pretty much familiar with the ones you shot earlier. That. Uh, they, they wouldn't want to have a long-distance firefight with you guys. Who picked up the grenades? Um, yeah. Hold on. <clears throat> but I would love it if you guys stalled here while I went to this area. <clears throat> I 
I took a frag grenade. How good are you at throwing them? Can you, like, can you try I'm... and drop one right about there? Well, grenades, Wait, unfortunately, are only short distance. Yeah, it's a short, it's ranged light. Ex Who knew? I swear grenades are medium range in real life, but that's just me. Except that they're not always short range. When you have a strong-armed gank in the crowd. <laughs> and now, treat increase. drone weapons as if they have uh, one they had higher. one greater range. Yeah. This is true. <laughs> there, there are workarounds. <laughs> so, so, you know. Yes, I do have that actually recently picked up. So... So, yeah, I can throw them at medium range. Now, my skill, on the other hand... <laughs> I don't even care. you can throw it doesn't mean you <laughs> should be throwing it. Good point. You can go ahead and try, bro. Go ahead yeah. and try. I mean, it'll definitely draw a distraction for somebody else to do their thing. Exactly. Well, that's why I want to be up here before you guys do anything crazy. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. what do you... Can what do you consider crazy? That, that's that's not a that's Throwing not a thing. grenade somewhere over here. <laughs> that's fine. Define cray cray. The grenade will end up landing here, and you know it'll be fine. You're right. <laughs> Everything will totally be okay. So. Unless our Jedi is hiding over here and one of the guys, you know, despair and he smacks the grenade out of the air and it lands right. Now the other dog is burning right at the Jedi's feet. Yeah. That would be oh. a helpful role. And you can, you can make, you know, part yeah, of your you're movement. Fine. And your you're move fine. And, you know. So I, I will give you guys a moment to strategize while I go, you know, shut. I shall return. All right. So you're going where? Where do you want to go there, Jedi? Well, I was going to try to flank him by coming around this side of this here okay. mountain. So off to their right, basically. Well, you can make your run over there. And you said it's like medium range. Right. So over to there. So it'd be... And up to there. Uh, too strained to uh, make the move to double move. Mm -hmm. You're fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and the signal will be uh, a grenade. You pretty much. <laughs> Straight. I mean, even then, I could like. Wire it into my drone and just like fly my drone over there. My hope is, is that because they have short range weapons, the stormtroopers like guys will start moving forward this way and the boss will stay back to kind of um, command his troops and then I'll be able to come in and flank the boss. Right. You just tell me where you want me to throw it, and I will throw it. Are you sure you don't want me to throw it? Yeah. I can go double your... without. I can do medium without getting that close. You have to get up to short range. <clears throat> okay. I mean, you could yeah, throw one later. By all means, you throw it then. Uh, because we have more than one, short right? range. I have two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Plenty. Plenty. We'll see what I can do with the first one, and then, you know, you'll have it for later, because, you know, that, if nothing else, it'll get them jumping unless you're going to sneak up to short range. Okay, the best part is I am back, and I get to listen to the whole strategy session because it was wire wireless headphones. Aw, isn't that sweet? <laughs> All right, All so right. The, Jedi's like double moving up to his spot with his uh, stealth going there. In okay, case so you guys are basically just hunkering down and letting the Jedi try to sneak ahead. Well, he's sneaking up there. I'm moving up to the corner of the rock. 
Okay, so since it is very cliffy and um, mountainy, go ahead and give me a uh, athletics check or coordination check there. All right. Well, you want the Jedi to go first since he move, he's moving first? Yep, since he's, he's sneaking up there. I mean, because you guys, you should be fine, but anybody that goes like over here, it gets really cliffy and very difficult terrain. As he rolled way quicker than I could end up clicking a uh, dark side point there. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed he doesn't mess around when there's four dark side, no light side points. Okay, so you managed to scamper up there pretty easily. You know, you don't make any noise. But go ahead and give me a stealth check while you're up there as you're peeking around to, to, to get as close as you can for a uh, sneak peek wow. on what's going on up there. Um, I would just like to point out that I got off my stealth check. Oh, no, I didn't. Look at that. It didn't actually roll it. Poor shame. Too bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so you succeed at your stealth with advantage, no less. You have an advantage you can use. But all of a sudden, when you're out, you you creep up there and, and you're getting with an eye shot of this rock makes a great sounding board. These these, these two little ten foot tall rocky ledges really help amplify the sound of since a despair was rolled. You clearly hear this guy who basically is barking orders that nobody is allowed to make it past this, especially those Republic forces. If we hold out long enough, some of the Separatist forces have managed to reprogram one of the Republic battle droids that will come up here and reinforce our position. We just need to wait it out until it can get here. Oh, God. It'll be here any minute. Peachy. And, and, and you're, you're, you're kind of cringe on the inside when you hear that. See, that's a yeah, beautiful that's narrative. Right. It's fine. <clears throat> so how are you going to be signaling your compatriots that you're in position? Um, please hold. I'm going to say, I'm assuming he's got a comm. Yeah, I have sworn I had a calm. <laughs> <laughs> he lights up his lightsaber and waves it. <laughs> oh, calm like this. right there. Yeah, calm like it's in my uh, in my Jedi in my Jedi uh, utility belt. Oh, so uh, uh... I will I will calm like uh, call my compatriots over there. Let Give them know. that super silent double click click. Yep. I'm here, you fools. Click, click. All right. So, you, so you're saying this is a uh, medium range here? Uh, yep. From where you are to up there, it's just at the edge of medium range. Okay. Throw it. Throw it. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Set me up. So you're throwing a grenade at medium range? Yeah. And who particularly are you aiming for? Um, I'm assuming the massive guys that are all you know engaged to each other. Well, yeah, yeah. So if you like throw it right here, you know, you've got that group of four of them all together. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to be a medium distance. Bring some balance to the force. <laughs> So uh, you are good to go, sir. Are you aiming? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I so mean, I've got to dice do in there every little you. benefit I can get here. As all of a sudden we get this Hail Mary chuck of a grenade. Pretty much. And remember, right. with grenades, even if you miss, you can use three advantages to make the area effect go off. Uh, I don't <clears> think that's... Hitting it. If I'm that fortunate, but yeah. Hey, but I got a success. Hey, hey. so uh, how much damage <laughs> is that grenade? Um, don't know what they were. I just chucked it. <laughs> what were the grenades? Let's pull up because the those were the stun grenades, right? 
Oh, is that what they were? I don't they, know. Or were they the frag grenades? They were yes. frag grenades the other day. That's what I mean. he does, by the way. They're frag grenades. So, eight, nine, ten points of damage to the guy. Yeah. So, needless to say, you throw the grenade in such a way that the guy kind of, like, steps on it. And he heroically <laughs> kind of, like, throws himself on the grenade, and it explodes his body all over the area. <laughs> Whereas the other guy has kind of moved just a, a hint to the side. And, you know, when you get that really lucky, a grenade went off five feet from me, and I managed to survive it. In this case, a grenade went off within five feet of them, and they just managed to barely survive it. Nice. And, of course, nobody probably saw where it came from, so they're like, what? Probably this grenade came flying through the air, but everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Because uh, the shit has hit the fans. You think? <laughs> uh, once, it... once hand grenades have been brought into play. So... What are we rolling? Is this cooler vigilance? Well, you guys sounded like you were getting ready, so you were prepared. Yeah. All right. Mainly because you used tactics and sent your Jedi off ahead. That definitely sounds like you were prepared for things. Let me get rid hey. of these. Make sure you're rolling your initiative so you don't get your purple dice. He probably didn't. He just rolled vigilance, not the uh, initiative. Yeah. yeah. So under initiative on combat, I have I can do either cool or vigilance. Use right. uh, cool, cool because you're prepared. We, we were prepared for this. I want to be prepared. I like vigilance better. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So do Same I. Same here, but, but you should have planned. You should have wasted three rounds running up there instead. <laughs> instead of being all super sneaky and and creeping up the wall Conan style. Where the heck is it? I can't find it. Um, under combat, the combat, very top yeah. initiative, above your weapon. Oh. <laughs> well. All right. So right now, from now on, we're going in guns blazing. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, the bad guys prefer going in guns a blazing, being unprepared too. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Yeah, like hot, flat footed. Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, that's, uh, sweetheart, you have, I have what? You rolled with purple dice for the initiative. Oh, for your thugs. Yeah. Eh, I'm not worried about it. I was, I was ignoring the threat that was there. Okay. Because the thugs have purple <laughs> dice on their character sheet already, which I need to erase. So needless to say. All kind of shit's breaking loose. You know, guy Bad pops his head up. In front of you. <laughs> here's, pitches his grenade. Unfortunately, just enough of him popped up when he threw that grenade that he's kind of exposed. I'm going to give you a black dice for deep, for uh, cover there, at least. As the great and powerful commander kind of like saw the grenade coming because he, he was looking this way, ready for danger. Any second to have these troops come up, and all of a sudden, this weird armored looking guy pops around the rock and chucks a grenade, blows one of his guys to kingdom come, and he's immediately going to pop a shot off at you. Only because okay. the guy jumped on it like a retard. Yeah, one defense, <laughs> right? Saved his team, you mean? He, he went to look down, like, oh, what's this? <laughs> what's this, Sarge? Yeah. <laughs> Plus a defense. Plus the defense. Yep. And he's good with aiming from where he is. As he uses that big scary uh, point there. Man, and he's there just. You go again. Oh, damn it. <laughs> What's going on with that character? Let's see. There should be nothing funny. Oh, there's probably. The comma is probably messing that up. Let's try now. Nope. Okay, let's take out the cumbersome three auto fire thing completely and see what happens. There we go. Ah, uh, but he missed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. I'm comfortable. 
Yes, I'm, okay. I'm very bad, better with the miss and a triumph is okay. <laughs> so he takes one shot and you manage to like duck your head just seconds before the rock explodes where your head was sitting. And you're just like, whoa, thank God I um, ducked. Yeah. And uh, for the triumph, what's he going to do for a triumph? He's going to go ahead and take a... He's going to take two strain. Take a second maneuver. That's what he's going to do. And take cover behind the truck. Ah, the chicken shit. In a position where he can still shoot, but he's got cover in case someone shoots back. For his three advantages, he's going to order his men to head down the hill towards you guys. So that way they're, like, effective when it comes to attacking. Because there's nothing worse than, you know, medium-range weapons. And if you guys happen to, uh, that guy's going to... It's going to use his action to scamper up the rock. And for the triumph, he basically is getting on the radio calling for that uh, battle droid, which will be here in... Got to leave it up to randomness. <laughs> Six <Right>. rounds. As <laughs> you, our sound Jedi can... you sound a little depressed about that. <laughs> I know. Normally I'm happy with a big, fat, chunky green six, but unfortunately <laughs> in this case, green six is not as cool as a dirty red one. Because that would be the droid's name, is dirty red one. Uh-huh. Instead, it's green six. <laughs> okay, so who's going to be the first one of y'all to go? <sighs> so... I go first. What's that? I was gonna say, let the guy with the long rifle go first. Mm -hmm. uh, so is he? Um, so he's what? Two black dice. If I shoot at him. Uh, if you shoot at him, um, he's now at long range and two black dice. Yeah. Oh, I would. I would start planking off the soldiers that are coming toward you. Well, I got other short people, but short range people, but uh, yeah, but they're short people. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What uh, do I try to shoot the big bads? Uh, maybe we're, we're looking here. I'm evaluating real quick. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and thin the crowd out, I guess. All right. Um, Okay, so shooting the guys at medium range? Yeah, I'll shoot at these guys here. Okay. Um, Are you aiming? Yep. Okay, I got your blue die in there for you. All right. Okay, are we ready? Yep. All right. As you know... Uh. New weapon, you're getting used to it. No, this know. is my old rifle that I got. Oh, it's your regular rifle. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it so shoots it's, long, too. You know what it was? These guys were running you know, down the road, and you just like fired half a second too late and just blew a chunk of rock behind one of them up. Motivation to make them run and get into position. Yeah, and then I ducked down. Okay, providing yourself some cover. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can take two strain and get completely behind the rock if you want. I will do that. Excellent. Deplete, deplete your strain. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right, Max. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's going to be one of you guys. I'll shoot. Why not? Which, which one are you going to pop a shot at? Um, that guy. Okay. <clears throat> and moving okay. somewhere to shoot. Yeah. Okay. I'll let oh, yeah. Move. You're like completely behind the rock at the moment. So <laughs> just saying. You, you might want to like stick your stuff out so you can see something. I don't like that, but yeah, I'll go there. Okay. 
Hey, you still got a black dice for the rock for cover. Yay. I've got your difficulty <laughs> and your blue dice in there because, you know, you're totally aiming. Right. Hey. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Eight points of damage. Yeah. As you uh, plink your shot and, and you kind of wound the guy, but he doesn't go down. Lazy bum. <laughs> maybe if you had done maybe one point more. <laughs> that Only soak yet. of three saves you every time. Yep. Right. Okay. So uh, needless to say, we're going to get uh, both groups. You're going to be super lazy and move down. And... This group's going to take a shot at you. Because that's what they do. A shot at me? At you. <laughs> like uh, it, so I, I have you? defense. It's because you actually hit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like the way you say, at me. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you have defense one. Which yeah. Which then becomes two defense, thanks to the rock. They're stormtroopers. They're not, you know... <laughs> As they lift up their mighty blaster pistols and fire away. This little duo on that side. Pew, pew. Ouch. And they actually, one of the blaster bolts no. managed to actually clip you. Look at all that goodness and all that badness in that dice roll that equates to just seven points of damage before soak. And... Um, they're going to go ahead and their, their blaster fire is blowing up rocks around you, which is distracting the the next one of their guys to go. Yay. And, and these guys are going to go this way. They're not going to bother shooting. They're going to keep moving. And this guy stays on the rocks? And that guy, who happens to be on the rocks... Um... Uh. He's going to plink a shot over at the gank here with the grenade. He's getting revenge for his murdered partner. <laughs> He's like, Steve! I don't want to I'll never forget you, man! Of course, he's a minion group of one. <laughs> it's not fun when you're a minion group of one. And he's going to go ahead and aim. Any advantage he can get. Mm. And needless to say, the rock explodes around your head over here as he just, like, shoots from rock to rock. I'm Pretty impressed. ineffectively. Yeah, I'm impressed. And he's like, maybe I should think of something better to do. So who's going next? I can go next unless, unless Kelly, you want to go next. Either way. Um, I'm just trying to, um, see if I were to move over to here, I can't fire on those guys because I would be completely blocked, right? Go over to here and be away from the cover. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, now if I, over here, I'll still get, if I move over to here, will I still have cover? Yeah, you'll still get a black die against, you know, getting shot. Okay, and I can move 30 feet? Uh, well, you can basically move to about right here. About 20 feet. 20 using D&D &D so. rules. Hmm. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to be out in the open regardless of where I you go, You could always right? park yourself right here next to your buddy. Would I still be able to fire? Yeah. Sure, okay. why not? Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you're willing to take too strain, you could run out into the open fire and then get back to cover no um okay i'm gonna fire on this guy on um, which guy this guy the wounded guy is that guy wounded that yeah guy's been wounded. Yep. okay you're totally like i will pick i am guy. aiming okay i've got a blue die for you you're at short range with him ouch you, you didn't you. let me finish, but, you know. <laughs> I would have taken that black dice out if you give me just half a second longer. You can still take it out. 
But uh, yeah, basically for 10 points of damage. Yep. And I am going to uh, um, give uh, Alina, because she's the next one of us to go, a blue die. Okay, so you're specifically giving her distractive cover. Because that takes, what, two of them, right? Yep. Okay, so then I still have two left over. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, um, and then the next one after that, which regardless of uh, either Zarek or Janang, gets a blue die as well, Each you know, the next two. Okay, so two is going to the next person to go, and two is specifically going to your Jedi friend? Yes. Because basically I think it's going to be one and the same. Oh, well, then... Uh, oh, but that's yeah. really good if, if I, she's going to run up and stealth so she's not noticed to get two blue die because you're really noisy and distracting. Yeah, let's give it to... I want to give uh, Alina as much of an advantage as I can. Mm-hmm. She's going to, like, hopefully behead this guy like they did the last one. <laughs> She's got a lot of ground. I do a lot better than the last one, though. <laughs> yeah, but still, you did behead her or him. And, so, and are you good with where you're standing? I mean, you can take two strain for another maneuver. No, no, you I'm could, good. I you still could complete your move over here, or you I have this cover. wonderful gank in front of me, and I have cover. So, <laughs> okay, I think this so. Uh, that leads hot. us to our Jedi. All right, so I am just moving as far as I can possibly move. So, like, to ride in this area here? Can I move further? <laughs> you could take two strain to double the distance, Damn and then straight. you still have an action that you could do something like stealth to stay concealed. Yeah, I totally want to continue stealthing. But yeah, okay, I'm so as for, close for as two I strain, you can do a double move. Moved to about right in this area here. And because of the rock face, you're going to go ahead and make a stealth roll, which let me set the difficulty. Which now you're rolling against the best perception in the area, which yeah, happens to be where you're pointing your arrow. And you have two blues, thanks to your teammate, that are making really, really noisy kill on the guy down below who's doing that whole. Ah! And apparently wow. you are the sneakiest, sneaky, sneak Jedi ever. <laughs> Not even a shadow. <laughs> with, with three successes and six advantage. All right. So I want to recover some of that strain that I just lost. <laughs> okay. How much are you down? Uh, I am down five currently. So you could take five and still have one advantage. Uh, I'm going to could... actually take... I'm going to take four and use the other two advantage to give a blue die to the next person. Because you're flown with the force? You know it. And even the guy standing above you on the rocks there has no clue that you're there. You're you're totally pulling the Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Death Star, where you're just like half a step behind or in front of people, and they're not even noticing you. More importantly, five rounds left. Hmm. Okay. Like so somebody's counting. <laughs> this guy, he's got his little, you know, set up where he's got his little shot down the way here. Where he's shooting underneath the hover vehicle. And he's going to shoot at Janog. Ooh. Why me? I'm a nice because, little guy. Because you're, you're cute. You're conveniently sticking your head out there. Fine. Fine. Oh, I could have done that too. Oh, well. And uh, he's, he's going to aim. Are you guys going to do anything with your three light side points? Well, yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Are you upgrading his difficulty? Yeah, he I did. think that's... Yeah, he flipped a, die, a light side. As poor Janog's like, what did I do? <laughs> Oof. Oh, Ula. Hmm. And it's a good ah. thing you did. I mean, at least at least one of those reds did some good, good, good stuff. Right. So he is going to hit you for 13 before soak. Wouldn't there have been two black die? Because wasn't I partially... 
He's got a defense and. Oh, you're right. Absolutely right. I forgot to add your defense. Come on, baby. Yeah. Come on, baby. <laughs> it's going to hurt no matter what. I'm going to go down. No. You guys, you guys got up to full health, didn't you? Yeah, but I only have 11 wound. <laughs> What's your well, soak? Thankfully, you only took 10 with your soak of three. Yeah, but you already took have, some the last round. I only have yeah. eight health left. I'm going to take a little nap. You all have a great time. <laughs> Don't worry, we're not going to let you die. As poor Janog makes this horrible sound that only little lizard guys can do. <laughs> Don't worry, my one guy took two dirt naps. He was fine. To safety. <laughs> really, everyone laughs when I say, you know, take that two strain to hide behind the rock. It's good to hide behind the rock. Except for well, there's a the bigger other. guy, and I thought the bigger guy would be a better target. Or the yeah. the, the one with the, the pink one with... <laughs> well, I dug totally well, down. More a straighter shot straight down the street, which is why he kind of went that way. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. I like taking naps. It's fine. Okay, and go ahead and roll once on the crit table. Roll low. Yeah. Oh. Where do I find that at? Under the crit table. I, Not crit yep. tab. Critical injuries. It'll be this horrible tab you know, called critical injuries. And just make sure you don't have any plus number in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't want anything in the offset. You definitely do not want to add plus 10 to the rolls. <laughs> Some reason I had plus 30 sitting in mine. So, yeah, I cleared that. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> and there's that big, huge red button. That's all you got to push. It's a slightly terrifying button. I don't even. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't see the slightly terrifying red button. Okay, so when you pull up Janog, go to huh? character sheet. And then if you scroll to the second groups where it says uh, combat item inventory and critical injuries, if you click on critical injuries. Oh, that place. And then there's a terrifying big red button that says yeah, critic, it's roll like critical. really big. big and Did red. you really have to roll that well? Wow, dude. Oh, <laughs> lordy. So, um... He shot or replace. <laughs> Obviously, this guy, I mean, Hunter is one of his backgrounds as well, so he must have hunted lizard things on a planet somewhere <laughs> and totally thought you were like a, a, a baby iguana that was just meant to be shot. So, uh, what limb, I'm going to leave it up to you here when, when you're sticking your head out, what limb got crippled? Uh, we'll go with my, one of it my can legs. Be your, your legs, so you got a gimpy leg? Yeah. And obviously, you thought you were behind the rock, but your leg was sticking way out. Right, right. I'm it's like hitchhiking and shit. Wait, don't you have a tail? <laughs> That's a limb, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it yes. is. But we know because of cats and other tail creatures, your tail is used for everything. Right. <laughs> just for balance. At least this way, it's athletics and climbing that he has to worry about. That's jacked up or coordination. Right. <laughs> Unless it's prehensile. That's the terrifying reminder of Uma. Get over there and save him. Like, let me check. Uh, so who's going next? All right, well. Can you take that other guy? I'll try to take out the other two. Uma. I can tell okay. you who's not going next. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Actually, I'll guy? wait. Let, I'll let them come up on me if he does. But I'll I'll shoot at the uh, the you want two me to far take guys. This one? Well, okay, you got. I'll, I'll shoot on this one then. Uh, that or get everybody up. One of the two, but yeah, because I can take the one on hand to hand, of course. If you I want, need to. I, let me see. Do I have a? Stim Should have a stim pack. I hope. Let's be I honest. I... You're terrified. I right. take the duo in hand to hand if you can get up to them. All right, so I'm going to shoot the pair. Okay. 
range. Let me set up your pool. I'm assuming you're aiming. Yep. Okay. I don't have it set. listed, but I know that we bought a bunch, uh, a number of them in. Well, I know you guys looted some from one of the first aid kits at the uh, stations. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got four in my pocket, so take one of those if you got two. So. As he's taking a shot, and he just says, <laughs> reach into my pocket, Uma. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, because my medicine is because my medicine is only two green, so you just gotta stab them. That's all you gotta do. Well, remember, yeah. stem back is you know five points just by putting them on. Them. I know. That's why I'm like looking in my inventory for a stim pack. So, all right. but so yeah, I'll take. Up, right? Yeah, I'll take yep. the stim pack over to. Damn it! What you hit? Okay. I know. I was hoping for more. He was hoping the more than just to, to wing one. Yeah. He was hoping to kill one completely. Especially since I shamelessly dropped the soak of, of three. Yeah, or get auto fire, you know, or disorient something activated. So remember, with auto fire, you have to declare that you're shooting auto fire because it adds an extra purple. Oh, that's right. That's that's not that's a... why link one is better than auto fire because right, link one right. is just. And my other one hits. That's right. But disorient would have been nice too, but all right. True. Okay. So who's going next? I'll give a blue to whoever's going next with the one. Well, oh, no. You know what? Take that back. I'm going to use that to take strain. Okay. Then uh, I'll go next. Um, and I'm going to basically run over here. I'm still behind cover and I'm going to. Use the stim pack on Jinong. For two, for two strain, I'll let you drag him behind the rock. Oh, yes, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so you slap him with the, the stim pack, giving him back five wounds. Yay. But isn't, aren't I still down though? Like, am I yeah. out of the. Technically, thing? you're down <laughs> until the encounter. But you're alive, and that's yeah, the yeah. important thing. Mm -hmm. So, and you're behind cover. You're like Luke Skywalker when he lost his hand. Right. Okay, so this guy, he's going to get up all stupid close and take a shot at uh, Zarek. Okay, I got my defense. Especially, especially since you killed me. So, what is your defense? One. He doesn't want to come up and engage? Nope. He, he's only got a blaster pistol. He crazy. <laughs> Not that crazy. As he's like, you killed Bob! And, and obviously these are podunk guys for a reason. And he kind of panic fires before he really gets close to you. Kind of hits, trips on a rock and shoots into the ground. You killed Bob! And these guys are going to move over here, and they're going to shoot at you, and the rock will give you an extra defense. You know what? They'll take two strain, which equates to not strain for them, and they'll move even closer. It's worth it, losing half their life to get right, right in distance. Unfortunately, actually, no, I can't. Because it'll kill the other guy. <laughs> it'll kill the one. Yeah. So it's just going to be lots of black dice for your protection. As they're going to join in and try to save their buddy. Don't die, Lenny. Don't die. And obviously the force is with you as the rock is getting pelted with more blaster fire. Effortlessly avoiding you. Somebody, somehow that rock did somebody wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the rock was so threatening. And uh, what's our last party member that can do something right now going to do? Uh, I am going to continue moving towards uh, said bad guy. Okay. Can I actually squeeze behind that truck? Yeah, you can squeeze behind there. Good, because I want to get to about right there behind him. 
Let's see if you can make it that far. You know what? I'll, I'll give you for the two strain. You make it there. All right. You rolled a little extra distance. <laughs> kind of mid force leap over the truck. Pseudo slide slash force jump. <laughs> if it's a truck, why don't I just slide underneath it? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to be prone, you could do that. But no, I don't know if you want to be prone. Do that no. <laughs> it's a bad idea. All right. So what do you need from me? Anything? So uh, you can still do your action since you took the two oh. strain for the double move. All right. So then, uh, yeah, I will I will hit him with my lightsaber. Are, are you igniting your lightsaber with your quick draw that you have? Absolutely. Okay, this will be bad. Ooh. Not that bad. Okay, so you basically, in a quick snapping motion, whip out your lightsaber and kind of zing him in the thigh pretty deeply so there's this huge Grand Canyon of marks through his armor. So, eight points of damage. That's that's a good chunk of his life. Get his attention, maybe. But uh, it's not all of his life. And more importantly, four rounds. <laughs> yep. Oh, are you keeping track of that number two? Oh, damn straight I am. <laughs> okay, so needless to say, he's going to take like a half... As I moved the truck by accident. He takes a like half step back from you, so he's just out of engage, because that's important, because he wants to make you have to chase him with that light, sta light, st light stick of yours. <laughs> and uh, he's going to go ahead and opt to take two strain, because it's good to take two strain. And just in case, since it's only one purple, he is going to go ahead and use his talent that he has that for an incidental, he can use butchery. He's going to, uh, wow. I'm going to spend my last dark side point. <laughs> nope, I beat you to it. <laughs> <laughs> You're upgrading the difficulty, but I'm spending a dark side point for him oh. to gain vicious two on all weapons until the end of his turn. Uh, <clears throat> but you did upgrade my difficulty. That is awesome. So I'll be, I would be rolling a red instead of a purple. But basically, if he crits on you, he adds plus 20 to the crit, because that's his kind of thing. Hmm. Oh, that'll be nice and time, you guys. We brought balance back to the force. It's a really good time to use a light side point, by the way. <laughs> I heard you talking about all the shit that he was doing. I was like, oh, God, I got to use this now. Because <laughs> getting shot point blank with a heavy blaster rifle is not good. And you know what? I'm going to upgrade uh, the difficulty because he's going to shoot it on auto fire because he's got a Jedi in his face. I can't see someone not panic firing at this point. <laughs> Uh, wait before you... Never mind. Yeah, no, we want that. Yeah. <laughs> you can totally re-roll if you'd like me to re-roll. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I was going to quickly look up the parry rules, because I think it's performed after you do your roll, yes. but I wanted to make sure, so... But with range um, attacks, it's reflect that you're looking for. That's the one where you bounce the blaster bolts back. Oh, yeah. Parry is the one for melee. Yep, that's melee only. Yep, that's... So, needless so. to say... He, oh, all of a sudden, a Jedi pops out like a fucking, you know, mongoose out of the ground and lightsabers his thigh. And he turns around and goes, yeep! And he just sprays full auto in response to the fact that a Jedi just popped out of his asshole and lightsaber him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as you can see, he clearly misses with three failures, two threats, and a despair, which is like the... Jesus Christ, that's that's like a dead his man's His gun character. is broken. <laughs> his gun so, is broken, his armor falls off. <laughs> needless to say, in his panic spray for the despair, his gun kind of hits your lightsaber and destroys it instantly. What? Oh. Your, your lightsaber kind of instinctively between his, his panic fire and you're defending yourself, the lightsaber hits it just right and it just 
cuts that barrel in half, which is probably why it rolled so badly. Mm. Uh, he is going to be knocked prone for the two threat. We pick a little picture for that a little snail for prone. <laughs> and missed horribly lighting up this entire area with blaster fire. And and that was a very, very bad turn for him. I mean, that was the worst. <laughs> pretty much. It was pretty unfortunate, actually. Uh, okay, so... Um, and he spent his strain already for aim for second maneuver, so it's not like he can run away. Bad time to be on your knees with a broken gun. <laughs> so who's going first at the top of the order for you guys? All right. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to go excited. <laughs> I'll let I'll let one of you guys go first. I can go second. <laughs> no, go ahead, go first. <laughs> go for it. I mean, you know, I mean you obviously <laughs> go All for right. it, dude. I am going to step forward and I'm going to lightsaber him. <laughs> I'm gonna get that cinematic moment. <laughs> Now, are you going for a lethal shot or a non-lethal shot? I'll give you the option there. Lethal. Go lethal. I mean, he did try to go full auto on your ass at point blank range. I mean, I'm just going to say. The force will be with you. Don't worry. <laughs> like, it's not that scary of a thing. Yeah, as you can tell, we ruled such Execute great. Execute a man on his knees with a broken gun, and don't, don't worry about that being a problem. He's still not... Har- Helpless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. He's a trained combatant. He he might have information. I just want to take him out of combat. I don't want to kill him. Okay. So uh, you're going to lightsaber him in a pseudo non lethal way? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure how that really He's going to cut sure. both his arms off. Okay. So uh, <laughs> non lethal. <laughs> So I am going to upgrade the difficulty there. for that, by the way, because using a lightsaber non-lethally is kind of hard. And I am going to aim. Okay. So I've got your upgrade. I've got my upgrade. Uh, aim cost me two strain? Uh, if you're not, uh, yeah, you did move. So yeah, it's going to cost you two strain. But that blue dice can be very valuable, unlike my blue dice that came up all blank. Mm-hmm. And my yellow dice. But not my purple and red dice. Are you ready for my roll, sir? Yes, I am. Fumbles and cuts his own leg off. (laughs) (laughs) Son of a bitch. (laughs) Okay, so uh, you do have enough to take him out. You could also do a crit on top of that, so he'll take a crit plus 10. If you want that to happen. I mean, I would take him out otherwise without taking the crit. Well, well, since you took him out, he's getting a crit regardless. But if you want to use those two advantage to make the crit more critty. <laughs> well, I was. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, I could use them for strain. I could give somebody else a blue. Let's give somebody else a blue. Okay, so he has a uh, sudden jolt. See, Janog, that's how you're supposed to roll a crit. Roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go, I'm the best, 98. Look at me. I'm in the top 98% of, of my class. <laughs> Yay. He was trying to show off. <laughs> right? It's the, only, it's the only good roll I've done so far. <laughs> so uh, who's going next? Got a gaggle of troopers coming down oh, yeah. here, not realizing their boss has just been taken out with a lightsaber. And they're short. The pair. Yep. All there, right. there. And you do have a blue dice because you heard some lightsaber action up on the hill. That's obviously got these guys unnerved. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to shoot at them and, uh, I have point blank. So they get, uh, it adds, uh, a damage per rank and I got two ranks. So, so at shorter point blank. So oh. then I got to make sure to, uh, do that yeah. then. So that you don't want to be hit? Effective. I mean, come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Burn those dark side points. All right. So I'm aiming. So got a blue and a purple, right? Uh, you should get two blue because your friend gave you a blue. Oh, yeah. So two blue and then yep. just two one blue, purple, a purple and an upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yep. 
right. Wow. I was expecting way more more successes there. Yeah, well, I was hoping for more. Three, so. So uh, you you're aiming for these guys, right? Yep. So eight points takes out one of them. If you'd like to use your three advantage for crit, you could take another out. Sure, we'll take them both out. Because these, yes, are minion groups, and you can take one out with a crit. So as you, you line up that shot, and you go ricochet through one's chest and out the other's back. This guy's looking mighty scared right now. Yeah, and I just kind of nod at him like, and? <laughs> that's that's, that's kind of scary. But you know what? He's got nothing to lose at this point. <laughs> but his life. But, you know. He's got nothing to lose. He's going to aim and he's going to take a shot at you, you murdering bastard. You off-world aliens. That's Is that supposed to be insulting me? <laughs> Not that that'll do much, but use my last point. <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh, oh. <laughs> apparently just sufficient to make him able to actually hit you and succeed. Yeah. So he hits you for eight points before soak. All right, I'll take three. It was an insult, sir. I used the last of my abilities, sir. I'm gonna die, sir. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yes, you are. Uma, that brings us to you. I'm gonna run over here and shoot him. Okay, you walk up and you're just like, ah, Zarek, I heard you just get shot. Bastard. I've heard the sound of, you know, gank flesh being burned. Yeah, it, was a fle- it was just a flesh wound. <laughs> and I'm going to aim. Okay, so you're going to take two strains. Mm-hmm. Because you're like, it's totally worth aiming, especially since it's short range with only one purple dice. And crit that mother. Damn. Okay, so needless to say, uh, she shoots the guy, kind of wounds him, but then when you look down at the wound, all of a sudden just blood blasts through his, his, his desert camo armor, and he just drops to the ground going, but we're the good guys. It's like, don't fuck with my crew. <laughs> okay, and that conveniently is three rounds that you have time to do things. Yeah. So, what all are you guys going to do during those three rounds when you can get Janog back on his feet? Well, the By first the way, we, should, we, we should still have that guy. Take that guy out. You do. Yep. You forgot about him. Nope. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I forgot like about that. I'm a lightsaber behind that truck. I'm gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the only one of the group that realized that there's a lightsaber going. <laughs> he's probably being in his pants right now. He's hearing the boom, 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 and hears this commander go. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, so freaking what? What do we got to do to get Janog up? Uh, basically, after the encounter, he can be up. All right, so is this guy still uh, awake? Can he, I fix my own un- leg? He is out cold right now. You can attempt the medical yourself, but it does increase the difficulty. Actually, no. What I want to do is I want to pull him in the truck and drive the truck down to my uh, my friends down here. <laughs> okay. So basically, you're throwing him in the back of the truck, mm-hmm. and then you're getting in the truck, and you're starting yep. the truck up? Yep. Okay. So it's a difficulty of three. So currently you're at, yeah, it's a difficulty of three because you're at zero hit points or more than half down, which then, you're still at. And then it adds an extra purple since you're you're doctoring your own wound. Can I <laughs> use a life side point to boost me? You totally can do that. I'd like to do that. <laughs> That, that is a very good use of doing that. Do you have a first aid kit or anything that will give you a bonus? I have a med pack, which will give me a blue die. Okay. 
So I've got your three purple, your upgrade for the light side, if you'd like to click it. You added the, the blue? And I added the blue, yep. All right. Oh, how many, how many, how many? Wait. Oh, wait, I didn't click it. Hold on, I got to click it. Just say you got to click your light side first. Use the light side. How many, how many, how many, how many? And believe it or not, you succeed at getting rid of your crippled leg. You do this <laughs> kind of like you shove your foot into a rock crevice <laughs> and you kind of pull and twist and you guys hear this <laughs> sickening pop. And he's just like, field medicine for the win. Yeah. <laughs> so you can go ahead and heal on the crit tab. It has a heal crit. <laughs> and you can heal the crit from yourself. Beep. Beep. Ha -ha. Whew, that was scary. That 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 was impressive as hell. Yeah. Actually, we're all going damn. And you can uh, heal some strain with the uh, advantage if you have any. Yeah. I don't have any strain. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well. Next time, take the two strain to hide behind the rock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting. I only take one strain. Because I get one, or I get one less strain because I don't take it voluntarily. Uh huh. And so I keep forgetting that I'm like, do 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 do. Where's well, the remember, computer? If you, if you do a second action, you're vol you voluntarily are taking two strain. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's the, good point. If if I'm assigning you strain, it, or yeah. if I'm doing stun yeah. damage, or someone is scathing tirade on you. Right. 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 Okay. All right, so we're so, uh, assuming senior droids coming from up the road this way somewhere. From most likely this direction. Yeah. So uh, does our Jedi, does uh, Alina want to take the truck down now? Absolutely. Oh, no, Zerk, stay back there. Um, I want to be in a position for cover when the droid comes. Well, I'm How thinking of running over the droid. <laughs> well, that's fine if but okay so what are the rest of you all doing while uh Maybe your jedi's some... coming down to say hey guys check out this cool uh ride i've just jacked loot the bodies oh, a i was gonna say maybe get some stim packs off these bodies if yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um unfortunately the troops don't have much of anything on them other than their little heavy clothing the only one that really does have anything is the hostage in the back of the truck, which means you probably have to jump back there and like uh, somebody have to volunteer to take his clothes off of him while he's you know knocked I'll do out. It. <laughs> and you did make sure he didn't have a, hey, another I'm weapon, a right? This is you not you know. No, I, I spent one round to get him in the truck and bring it down here. <laughs> he's oh, unconscious. Boy. He's not getting up anytime soon. Sure, that's what they all say. <clears throat> So aside from his uh, destroyed weapon, here's the loot that he's got on him, as well as a credits data stick with about 400 creds on it. Not that you know that yet. Ooh, Great, fancy. more drag grenades. Fancy. Oh, fancy. yes. Avenue. Armor. It's got this nice desert camouflage paint on it. Chinong, you want the armor? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> I mean, it, it's probably got better defense than mine does, but I'm getting ready to mod mine out really bad, so... Uh, it's just soak, no defense. <laughs> yep, just soak, no defense. Yeah. Uh, um, I so it's like he would have loved mine. to have some defense. We'll take it, because we can sell it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh... So. I think my, because I don't want to give up my coat. So you can you can mod. Can I wear? Oh, sorry. What's that? Does it with the Jedi's ears twerk tweak of mod. Right. Did you say mod? Mm. Yes, items can be modded depending well, on hard points. Specifically, Janang can mod. Beautiful. Just yeah. depends on the armor, ar hard points. As long as you got the hard points and the cash, we can mod anything. 
<laughs> More yeah. importantly, the cash. Yeah. So I'm hunkering down and kind of hiding and keeping an eye out, watching for the uh, droid on its way. I'm tossing out the prisoner and uh, keeping the engine warm. Did I go up in health at all? Uh, you you got five health back, so you're up to five. Well, she like when I healed, I didn't go up any. I uh, no, that was just to heal the crit. Okay. So healing yourself with medicine and healing a crit are two different roles. You can do additional healing to try to do medicine on yourself. Well, but would the difficulty be now too? Uh, what's what's your hit points now compared to what your max is? Um, I'm six shy. Okay, so you're more than half down? Yeah. Okay, so to do it for yourself, you'd be at three purple. We. Oui. And you'd heal one, you know, basically one for every success. Or you could just slap a stim pack on yourself and get four back. This is why those packs are so valuable. Yeah, diminishing value. <laughs> right. But the fact that most most medicine rolls will not give you four successes because they're jerks. Until, of course, it's you trying to heal a broken leg. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then it's Come like, on. never mind. Here you go. All those greens, he's got a good chance. Yeah. <coughs> That'd be six against three. Uh -huh. That's better than 50% plus a blue for my med pack or my med, whatever it's called. What is that thing? Stim pack? No. no, it's a med pack. Oh, the... Yeah, I got a med pack, so it adds one blue. Yeah, you know what? I'll try it. Okay, I've got your difficulty set in there. I mean, worst case, you use stim pack anyways. Right? If it's a wash. If I die. <laughs> you kill yourself. <laughs> That's a spare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of advantages, but hey, it's two yeah, more. That's two points. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, at least it's something. Right? You're over half. <laughs> right. Basically, you're whipping out your first aid kit, and you're, you're doing that little handkerchief around your leg, and boom, hit points come back. You're like, I feel better. It's movie medicine. <laughs> Here, just let me tie this around your wrist, and you will be healed. <laughs> well, you stitched it up a little bit. For ninety five ninety five, you can get some too. <laughs> you too can heal up. So I'm going to say it's probably a good time to take a quick break. Because I have a dog losing her mind in the backyard. And we need to take care of that real quick. All right. okay. So everybody go ahead and take a quick restroom run if you got to. All right. Be right back. All right. So what are the odds I can rewire this droid that's coming up. I don't know that you want to get that close to it because it's probably not going to be just a loader droid. No, no it's, it's definitely not going to be. And it's probably going to have software or something. And if it didn't in the first place, now that James has still probably got his headset on listening, it will. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think this will be a an easy run up and plug in. You're likely to get your block knock knocked off. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> so I gotta heal myself again. Uh, be another crit and everything else. So. Yeah, I know. Um, so anyway, back to modding. Yeah, I can mod. Uh, I have a good chance of modding. Armor, weapons. Uh, yeah, you got to look at your armor's uh, hard points. Yeah. And even then, if it has one hard point, yeah. I have, like, superior quality is the one I would recommend the most, probably. Because that gives you two more soak and uh, something else. But it's like, for two soak, that's pretty good for now yeah two soaks huge and if you reverse engineer you can add one hard point correct 
But I mean, oh. you want to unx yourself? I can't. Yeah, you should be able to. Click on yourself and click the circle at the bottom. I can't. Uh-oh. No, I th- if Jim put it on, I don't think he can remove it. Okay. Well, the other reason I can't is because I can't. Um, whenever I click it, you're, the way you're set up at the bottom of the screen. Is that your guy? Because I don't see your health this and stuff. This is him. Yeah, oh, I, I know, but is that your right character, dude, or did he bring the wrong one? I don't know. That There's no good picture of my race. No, no, but you don't have the health bars and stuff, or maybe that's because you're dead. Oh, I see the health bars. Oh, no, uh, Jim probably just didn't set it to uh, allow us to view it. Possibly. Because, I mean, I don't see... I don't see your numbers, but I see the bars. I seen your green, mm-hmm. yeah. No, oh, see, I see everybody's numbers and bars. Oh, well, actually, I oh, don't. There it goes. I see everybody's numbers and bars except for I see. I, actually, I just see no. your bars. Yeah, but I see Alina's and see my Alina's. numbers, but I don't I, see. Oh, yours. I can't take it off. Yeah, Alina's. I see huh. Uma's. I see everybody's but Janong's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I only see mine <coughs> and hers, the Jedi. Everyone else is blank to me. Uh, well, poop. My armor doesn't have any hard points. Oh, well. What do you have? In the Jedi training suit. Hmm. Has no hard points? The, the training suit probably doesn't. Yeah. Eh, probably. Um, okay, yeah, no. I'll have to upgrade at some point to the Jedi battle armor. Yeah, that's the, the good stuff. Isn't that restricted, though? Yeah. Fine. Yeah, he's a Jedi, though. You just gotta uh, plead for it. Oh, that's funny. <clears throat> <laughs> Must be because of the era. The... Jedi commander armor is an eight, but the battle armor is a nine. I don't know. I would think the commander armor would have uh, a different restriction or higher restriction since it's a commander. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I have it listed twice. That's interesting. One's restricted, one's not. Probably based on the era that it's from. Um, Or you could just wear regular armor and because <laughs> the laminate. I think that's pretty much equivalent to what I have now, isn't it? Just two soak. Oh, but it has the hard points. It probably has hard hard points. Yeah. yeah. Laminate has three hard points to it. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's... I'm just focus on building a, another lightsaber next. And that's a full body, hard, full body, let's see, heavy resilience, and it's sealable. Yeah, I got four hard points. I got to figure out what I want to play with on my armor. Though I do got to get the... uh, Dealy Bob put t- taken from the one armor and put back or put on this armor, the whiplash. Mm. Mm. I can do that. Maybe. Yeah. Cause that's a interesting little extra add on the armor to have the whip cord. I can ensnare two with it and it's short range. So I can like, Whipcord somebody, snatch him into me, and then smash him with my uh, um, uh, repulsor fists. <laughs> because, hey, repulsor fists. Right. But with the whipcord, I can sit there and go like, come here. <laughs> 
I mean, totally like we almost got to see Boba Fett do in uh, Return of the Jedi. Right. Almost got to see him do it. Yeah. So. So everybody back. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. We were plotting and planning armors and things and. He was lamenting, the Jedi was lamenting that she doesn't have any hard points on training armor. <laughs> well, you know, you now have the uh, laminate armor that you could totally, you know, cut apart that's, and turn into Jedi combat armor. That's what I said. It's like three hard points on it, on yeah. the laminate. If Just, you can do that, convert it to Jedi combat armor, sure. Why not? Basically, it just means you're wearing robes with like five or six pieces put on. Yeah, which is yeah, what basically what it is. <laughs> it's Obi Wan stealing a few decorative pieces and keeping full mobility. So you guys have you know another two rounds that you can basically get prepared, hunker down. So is there any last minute maneuvers or anything you guys want to do on the map? Does anyone have I... explosives? They could rig to the front of the truck so that when I slam into the droid, <laughs> it blows out forward. <laughs> So why do you want to destroy our transportation? But this isn't our truck. This is the truck we I just stole from them. Yeah, but we'll be That's using the it truck to we get came back. to get, so we could drive back to the drive the rest of the way to the fort. You destroy the engine, then we have to hoof it the whole way. Is it? Yeah, it is. But that's fine. Yeah. We By can the do way, it. Lemon vodka with lime bubble water is pretty good. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> I thought we were out of lemon vodka. It's, nope. Got a bottle in the back of the fridge. He hid it from you. Uh, you're <laughs> out. <laughs> he done hid that from you. So I do take one of his frag grenades, have that ready. Oh. So he wants to grab the other one. What kind of what kind of skill is going to be involved with driving this truck into the droid, dude? Don't Pilot destroy the truck. Would it destroy it if I run the truck into the droid? Possibly. Most likely. You're I running mean, the engine into the droid. Now, if you like reverse over him, <laughs> that's you know that's a different story. <laughs> Honestly, that was one thing I was thinking of doing, but and then there, there's this moment that you guys realize that it's a hover truck, and it kind of just slightly mars its paint job as it goes over it. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, that's well, fine. Well, damn it! All right, well, like, if we'll he, that's what he wants to do, let him do it. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm walking. Vehicular homicide. I will shoot you. I am not walking. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to drive the truck over the. the We're machine. not going to pull a Thelma and Louise. <laughs> the machine's That's just going to be right like, there. "What are you? What are you doing, man?" We got weapons. We don't need to use a truck. And it will like shoot the fuel tank. It'll explode. <laughs> the Jedi will die. <laughs> All right, then I will. I will post up up here and hide. So I'm perceiving around for any sign, sound, or anything. Okay, clearly it. you hear this thing coming because it's on. Tr- it's got treads, four little treads for legs, and it's got double beer- barreled weapon limbs. You know, you you guys have probably seen enough of these used by the Republic to defend positions that they've got ion and laser cannons, basically over under barrels. So they can do the, the pom-pom gun type of thing with the two blasters shooting at once. And actually, you mentioned that. Can we do a cool to, for strain? I, I will give you a cool. While we were taking a few seconds to plan. Oh. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. No strain for me. All right. Uh, was that my cool roll or? Yeah. You yeah. Me. I had. A oh, did I add initiative by doing that by accident? I did. I hit the wrong thing. I think. So you didn't use my cool straight. I used the initiative. So you probably have to delete one of the point twos. So yeah, roll a cool, and then any success oh, you can. Wait a minute. I have a question. If we wake up this guy we have tied up in the back, can he cancel the 
send the bot back? That's what I was going to be shooting for. Oh, okay. Go for it. All right. So we're cleared, ready for... Yep, we're issue. cleared. All right. So why did I have all those purples on my cool roll? <laughs> because on the uh, dice pool, in general, we had a bunch of purples still there. Oh. So but you don't have any successes anyway, so... No, oh, son of a bitch, still didn't have any successes. <laughs> and make sure you're rolling on initiative as opposed to cool. Well, well now like we're... Cleared it all. Yeah, because yep. now we're rolling an ish, right? Yeah, yep. now we're going into combat, right. so... And again, you know combat's coming, so you're prepared. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God damn. Go. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Ooh, that thing's pretty good at that. Nice. <laughs> at least somebody, or the, at least the rest of the party was all set. I don't do as well with that. Whoa, 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 dude. What, what's wrong with you? Why you got to get all crazy? Jeez. Why you got to get okay. all crazy for? Crikey. And we'll just put that at the top. Yeah, yeah. With his two success, three advantage, and a triumph. Uh, obviously, the battle droid wants to go first. Right. <laughs> Which conveniently for you guys, as the first round is him basically tractor treading up this hill. And pretty much once he gets to the designated location, he was called in to reinforce. He's going to go ahead and do some percepti sentiness since he senses an ambush. Since, you know, there's blaster fire all over the place. There's some scorch marks here, you know. So who's got the best stealth? Body. Uh, let's see. Not me. Not it. Uh, oh. Stealth, I'm two yellow, two green. My stealth is one yellow, three green. Yeah. So two yellow, two green size. Yeah. So collectively, y'all are sneaking. I'm going to give you guys a boost dice because the terrain's nice and craggy and stuff. So he's got a two red, two purple, and a black versus his perception. You guys ready? Mm hmm. Ready. How many yellows do he got? I was waiting <laughs> for somebody to use a destiny pool. I was thinking. Oh, look at that. So. Needless to say, you all will get a free maneuver right now as he pulls up over the hill and he's like literally surveying the, the countryside. And you're hearing it just like target acquisition and he's calling out positions that you sense he sees you all in a very Even. uncomfortable way. Mm. Basically, if he doesn't see you, he senses the rocks Clumbling off the the rocks you're hiding behind, right. so he's he's acquiring his targets. He's probably got and he's doing it. He's doing it verbally, which is really annoying. And yeah, he may have one of those see through wall scanners, which are really nice. But uh, you all get a free maneuver for his three of his four threat, and he's going to take uh, take some strain. Mm. All right. So uh, each of you guys get a free maneuver if you'd like to take one. Maneuver, but not an action, right? Yep, a free maneuver. Uh, I'll aim. Yeah. So you're not uh, not moving? Uh, no. Why would I leave my cover? <laughs> <laughs> right now, my <laughs> job is shooty, shooty. So, Jim, if I move to, say, right here-ish, am I still in cover? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, and poor big guy takes some strain.
and, and he's pretty much, you know, he's he's got you guys. Call, you know, calls out the body. You know, not not tar- You know, not combat effective target. So he he's he's assessing the situation really well at the moment. So who's going first? <sighs> I guess I'll draw fire. What? And, and uh, just, just to give our Jedi a hint, by the way, jumping off this rock might be a bad thing because I'll ask you to make a uh, coordination roll. Just to let you know, so, so diving off the rock and not using force sleep might be a bad thing. So he's he's at medium range. Okay. And so I'm, I aimed with the free maneuver. Now I'm aiming a regular aim. Okay, so two aims versus medium distance. Yeah. And let me clear some things. Okay. Let me know when you're red eye. Okay, and he does have range defense one. So uh, ready really? to go. Range he does. defense one. Well, let's yeah. go ahead and do that then. Oh. <laughs> so we'll uh, upgrade your dice pool there. Okay, you're good to go. All right, here we go. Shooty, shooty. All those dice and three results. But those are good results, so I'll take them. Yeah, those are pretty good. So uh, nine points of damage. Yeah. You see, and I'll just say it for ominous reasons, the equivalent of one point of damage done. Yeah, nice. As it just kind of mars his paint job and leaves one little scratch on it. Alrighty then. And by the way, he's got graffiti spray painted all over him. It's almost like a <laughs> bunch of rebels reprogrammed him, and they basically say "Republic sucks" on the very front, as well as a few other derogatory things. <laughs> nice. How close does a slicer have to be to? Um, pretty, pretty close. Yeah. We don't want to get him that close then. He's got to be engaged. <laughs> and pretty coordinated to actually plug into it. Mm. Yeah, this one will knock his block off. Um, yeah, no, we're not sending him anywhere near it. Yeah, so my one advantage, I'm recovering a strain. <laughs> okay, and uh, you good with where you're standing? Do you want to actually take cover? Yeah, yeah. So you'll take two strain for an extra maneuver to hide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like to actually be away from just black dice. Yep. Okay. Just making sure because, you know, he may return fire on you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, so. good, she's good. good odds. Yeah. This is a good one to duck behind the rocks and actually be behind cover. Okay. So who's going next? Um. I guess I might as well go next. So how bad of a uh, roll are we looking at if I do coordination? Well, basically, when you jump off something, it's uh, you're rolling to avoid taking damage from jumping. Mm-hmm. Jumping is a really easy way to get jacked up in this game. I just want to let you know. Sort of like in D&D, how early levels you can pretty much get killed pretty easy. So, but what if I have, like a pretty decent coordination roll and I'm at minus one black die because of my awesome Jedi-ness. If you're willing to take your chances, you can. No, with my luck, I'll fucking break my ankle and get shot to death. <laughs> do you have a, a force jump or anything? That oh, yeah, I, I do have force leap. I just, you know, it's basically used light side to, to jump horizontally short range. That you could use that to bypass any falling damage. True that. All right. Use the force. <laughs> I mean, it totally is way better than uh, falling damage. <laughs> so just going to throw that one out there because falling damage sucks. Right. And so it's basically use a light side point and I just go over there, right? Yep. If you get a light side point. No, no, not those. Yeah. All right, not that light side. No, point. no, you have to roll on um, so very yeah, top center six. under the dice pool where the very center. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Add yes. your dice pool. That and then I do 
that. No. <laughs> that didn't look right either. Looks like there was a bunch <sighs> of shit added in there. <laughs> Jim, is there anything you need to clear? I just clicked, but it has not cleared yet. There it goes. It is now clear. All right. Um, do you want to give us our one light side point since I didn't really mean to do that? Yeah. You want me to give it to you back? Yeah. Yes, yes, please. Okay. We have balance back in the force. There we go. And jump. Yay. Okay. And swing. Are you now? So conveniently, it does not have a melee defense. Okay. It's a quick question. Do you want to take two strain to aim? Yes, absolutely I do. I should have waited to check with you before rolling. Absolutely. I was going to say, yeah, don't get froggy on the rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still too used to my D and D, where you know it's my roles don't get modified. <laughs> yep. No, nope, there's all kinds of stuff you can do here. So you automatically are doing eight points of damage to it. It's you've got breach one, which means you ignore the first ten armor of anything, which wow. is really nice, or the first one armor of vehicles, which that's huge because it means lightsabers can jack at vehicles, which is usually a rarity. So uh, you immediately chip off a huge chunk of its armor with one swipe of your lightsaber. Because it's nice when uh, all of your damage basically does damage instead of being soaked away. What yeah. would you like to do with your one advantage? Um, Regain uh, some strain because you... Yeah. Strain. All right. So I've okay. taken that one strain, and I'm done. Okay, so who's going next? It's actually kind of nice when it's me than all of you guys. <laughs> well, let's see here. He's long range for me. Well, I so think I want to do is like extreme range. pop my recon drone and just watch on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> I think I I'm just going to start gonna moving. Enough. I'm just going to start moving up. But like out of. Line of sight? Yeah. Because I'm going to get up near Zarek. But and then. So I can pop out and. So, by the way, the thing I posted in the chat is what you take when you do falling damage from a short distance. You roll like an athletics or a coordination, and every success reduces the wounds damage, and every advantage reduces the soak damage. Hmm. Oh, As so you, you can see, that is a sweet Jesus amount of damage for falling, you know, 10 feet to the ground. Yep. Yeah. I don't want to... Use strain right now because I'm going to need it for sh firing. So I can only move up to about here, right? Mm -hmm. But and if you're not taking you an action, action I'm not, not taking, taking an action. Then you can move again. So you want to move okay. like closer without strain because you're not taking. Yeah, yeah, action. without strain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And remember, you guys had chance to plan, so you could move up to Zarek if you want. Yeah. I mean, heck, you can always jump into the, the car and take over so that way they yeah, get it. Yeah, but I don't want him to fire on the car. Okay, that's a, that's a very good point, that he might ion blast that car into nothing. Exactly. So I'd rather the droid not hit the vehicle that we're trying to use. <laughs> okay, so who's uh, picking up the spare and going last? As we that's go, look at Janot. Oh, I'm just gonna watch it again. I'm just I put my recon drone up and I'm just like gonna watch it on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> so your little drone's going tch, 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 and you're getting news footage of a Jedi versus a Republic droid. Yeah, pretty much. Because I don't think I can. I, I mean, I can't get up there, and I'm not yeah. gonna coordinate a tackle him. <laughs> 
to try okay. and here, let's rewire him real quick. You got a pistol? <laughs> yeah. Short range or medium range. See, you're fine. Yeah, but he's like far away now. It's fine. All right. Okay, so the droid is going to not bother getting out of engaged distance with the Jedi, which means the difficulty of the attack is a little more difficult because you don't re you don't range attack into melee and not not pay for it. Let me set up my little dice pool. Little dice pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what should be one dice is actually two dice. Let's go ahead and give him um, <laughs> upgraded difficulty. And yep. do you have any ranged defense? I do not. Okay. And it's going to go ahead and aim. That's going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice knowing you, buddy. Yep. <laughs> and it's not going to auto fire because it's going to use its ion cannon. Oh, damn. Stun damage. <laughs> it's probably the best thing I could hope for at this point. Uh, unless you don't have much uh, strain left. Yeah, I don't have a ton of strain left, but. Yeah. Yeah, then you go down quicker. That's fine. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> He's one with the force. Oh, the force is one with oh. oh, oh! Despair, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, but there's a billion damage. Yeah. It kind of brings its double-barreled guns. It's got the tiny laser blasters, oh, or I should say, tiny say head. Did he say going to be non-lethal, though? And then it's no. got the big chunky ion blasters, and it kind of like tries to line both of them up on you. And of course, you take your lightsaber and you're like, nope, and you block one completely. As the other one at point blank range just blasts into you. Uh -huh. So, would you would you like to know what the amount of damage that you take is? I'm sure the base no, is probably. No, 10. I wouldn't. <laughs> well, it's automatically plus six to give you a, a, a teaser hint. Yeah. But on the plus side, as it opens up and hits you with the ion blast, like I said, you were taking your lightsaber and blocking the other barrel. And there's this beautiful arc that happens of one blast hits you with electric ions blasting over you like a lightning storm, like literally a lightning storm that goes all through your body, your hair is zapping out. It's very cartoonish. Lightning is going to your other hand to your lightsaber, dancing across your lightsaber's beam and right into the opposite barrel of the droid. And you just see the ions zap across the droid as well. And you see that its weapon systems are smoking and hissing and doing all kinds of horrible things. As as it does 16 points of strain to you. <laughs> it's probably at least just negative strain. Oh. No. And you just go unconscious, basically, right? Yeah, well, you're looking from your hiding point, and you're seeing this huge lightning storm that's the both of them just going. <laughs> As you know, a brief second, the lightsaber's beam shuts down and it separates the horrible arc circle that is going on here. And, and you see smoke rising off the droid's weapon systems. And uh, smoke you see rising, smoke off the Jedi. <laughs> rising off the Jedi's lightsaber as it hits the ground and the Jedi flops down cold next to it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. But it seems pretty shaken, too. The droid seems that uh, one or both of its weapon systems are out. Okay. And you know how I'm going to figure out if both are out? Because I'm going to roll a purple dice for the ion and a uh, red for the laser cannon. And regardless, one of them's going out. But whichever dice has got the better roll. Apparently, the heavy laser blasters are the ones that burned out. So, its lethal cannons are apparently zapped out and scorch marked right now. And it's going. 
<laughs> well, the ion took out its non-ion weapons. Yeah, the ion <laughs> must have been shielded so it survived the feedback. Right. I'm ready then. Okay. So uh, who's going next? <laughs> um, Not it. <laughs> <laughs> you're now, how much did we I mean? He's at medium range. But we know that I am. You're completely out of strain. Oh, yeah. Even you're if just, I was completely. You're just sober. unconscious because I don't see the health down. Yep. No, yeah. yeah. Because his health is fine, okay. he's but he's still removed from the scenario, <sighs> from the scene. Well, I mean, <sighs> and this is medium range. Yeah, yep. medium range. Okay, I, I'll just step out and I'm going to shoot it, and then. Now remember, your weapon has the ion feature as well. I know. I have a. Your weapon is made for disabling droids. It's just really good at disabling people, too. I know. I'm trying to get to my... Hold on. So, I... Because I do have an ion stun. Okay. I am going to aim. Okay. So, you're at medium range. You're not going to get any closer? No, because it's it's a medium range gun. Uh-huh. And you're aiming for a blue die? Uh-huh. Okay, so nine points of ion damage plus three advantages. So what would you like to do with your three advantages? Um, let's see. Um, you could give I'm a gonna give, maneuver. I'm going to give the next person uh, advantage, you know, a, a blue die. And I'm going to gain one of my. Get a strain back. It didn't work. Why didn't that work? There you have go. to hit enter after. Yeah. I did it twice myself. <laughs> okay. But because I'm going to take two and. So who specifically are you giving a blue dice to? Uh, Zarek. Yeah, because Jin Hong's sitting back, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving him a blue dice to re really good reception. Yeah, he's taking super awesome pictures. <laughs> oh, no, we got it. Funny part's okay. over. Look, I just made a video and I'm going to show him, be like, look what you did. <laughs> look what happened. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a killer video of me getting zapped unconscious that he's going to replay over and over again. <laughs> right? got zapped by that droid. <laughs> and this is when you got zapped. Alina's really greatest funny. moments. Right? <laughs> All right. Hey, at least I haven't broken my lightsaber for five rounds yet. <laughs> hey, this is a good thing. <laughs> All right. See anything else you're doing? No. No, I, I moved back uh, undercover. Okay. All right. I will pop up and aim. Plus, I got the blue. That she gave me. Let me set that up for you. And you're at medium range. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's in there. And we upgraded. You dirty, 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 dirty guy. Because <laughs> you knew I was going to do it, huh? Probably. <laughs> Okay, you're good. All right. You can do it, Zarek. You can do it. Dang it. Just can't get the successes. Hey, All but right. at least it's not failure. Oh, but I can activate Disorient, too. Ah, uh, but you didn't actually beat it soak. But I'll give you the Disorient, too. I was going to say, I didn't know you had to beat the soak to do... Yeah, all you have to... I thought you only had to make the critical. Yep. 
No, no, all he's saying is it doesn't take any damage. Oh, yeah, no. But it just gets the yeah. disorient. That's fine. Okay. So yeah. disorient two, which means it has a black dice for its next two rounds. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Yep, yeah, yeah. And that takes how many? Just uh, that takes two. So you yeah. still have two. I will uh, recover strain with that. All righty. Since that's going to be critical now. <laughs> Strain is kind of important now that you've disabled its murder weapons. Yeah. Sally. Right. Can I move from... Can I move to over here? As long as I don't shoot? Sure. And I duck back down. To end my turn. Okay. And your other compatriots skittering like a lizard. <laughs> yep. And uh, since it doesn't see the Jedi as a combatant issue now, it's going to basically do a double move to get closer to you guys because it, it, it wants to see another target. And sadly, with its weapon systems, it needs to get closer to you. Ion's only good for short distance. What a shame. But that's okay. Come into my web. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think he wants to melee it. Well, it sounds like, you know, that's a better idea, considering it doesn't have any melee uh, soak, right? Oh, no. Well, it's got soak. It just doesn't have the melee. It has soak all day long is the problem. So it moves closer to you. and that's So if you can hem him up, I can try and jump on his back and reprogram him. I mean... (laughs) I would get a bonus at that point. <laughs> <laughs> you just go tackle him. Yeah, Your tackle. little repulsor fists. All right. Where are we at? Top of the order? Uh-huh. The Jedi will go first. <laughs> <laughs> I lay there and drool. Ooh. Yeah. In that case, click. A small ocean seagull comes flying by and snatches the lightsaber away. <laughs> Yay! Mine? Wow. Mine? Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. So that's eight. That's that. Um, All right, so dual fisting. So that would add a purple. Oh, it'll make something purple. (laughs) (laughs) Bad Um, joke for the day. Right? Uh, So it works like dual wielding weapons, right? As far as. um, If you're going to use both of them, it adds a purple. Right. And you have to. Get a two, at least two, to activate the second one, right? Yep, exactly. Okay. All right, so I am grabbing the Viber Knife out into one fist to have it out and ready, but I am going to charge forward. Okay, so quick question, since you're mixing your weapons... What well, is the worst skill you have between melee or me- uh, brawn? Well, no, no. I've got the weapon in hand, but I'm going to fist. Mm-hmm. But if you're dual wielding, you use the worst dice pool of the two. I'm not attacking with the dagger. I'm using both fists. The dagger's just in my hand. Okay, so you're you're going to do punch damage on the on the back end, on the offhand. Right. Okay. I'm just holding it. Out. I've got it in my hand so that after, if both fists go off, I then have it already ready to then okay. dagger. Perfect. So I'm just, I'm punching just daggers in the hand. It's, I figure it's small enough that it wouldn't be yeah, unwieldy, like trying to punch with a sword or something. But that's, Okay, I wasn't that's... sure if you were doing fist and dagger as a combo. Nope, no, nope, nope, nope. Okay, cool. Fist, fist. Because it should be a way better dice pool doing that way. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 
but if the repulsor fist goes off, then if both of them go off, then I have to wait, you know, two rounds, well, actually the third round before I can actually use them again. So I want my other weapon ready. <laughs> See, I'm prepping. This, this is good prep work. Yeah, yeah. I've got your difficulty unless you want to actually take two strain for a name. Um, yeah, you do. No, no, you just sure? no, because I can't afford to use strain at the moment. Okay. Are we all set? Yep. I snuck that in there. If you saw, I, it. I saw because I double checked <laughs> to make sure you didn't already put one back that I could have used. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Survey says as you go running. Oh, up, oh, oh. <laughs> So on the plus side, you can use the triumph for your second fist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, first okay, fist. So first fist is eight, nine, ten. So they're ten per fist. Okay. Um. Let's see. Got to remember what everything does here. So he's already disoriented. What's concussive do? I forget. Let me pull up my cheat sheet. Concussive. Uh, two advantages to activate. The target is staggered for the duration. And staggered. <laughs> now you gotta look up another. And staggered, you go to the <laughs> crit table, and staggered. Stagger, stagger, crawl, crawl. And search engine, do your job. Staggered for one turn is also with three advantages. Uh, it means you are stunned until the end of the next turn. Oh. That's a good one. So he wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah, he would basically be sitting there going, error, 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 error. Okay. So 10 damage, which most it's mostly sucked. So, but I can use the triumph to concuss to activate the concussive one uh -huh. so he can't return an action so he's staggered for one round till the end of the next turn yep which and sucks then, since his turn is at the beginning yes it is and then here comes the bad news so you jump up and you <laughs> and that, you know that repulsor fist smashes into it Unfortunately, there must have been just a little of that ion juice still scattering and just rolling over its hide. And immediately, you do that fist into it, and all of a sudden, you get the ion feedback. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you just hear this popping of servos in your arm. So your repulsor fist is down until you can get it fixed. All right. So one's down. One of my two. So one is down. Your right hand fist is currently kaput. It's barely operating as a hand as it is. Uh, okay. At least it's not crippled. It's just shut down. Yeah, yeah. So uh, obviously coming. those safety features you disabled. Uh... Yep. <sighs> so who's going next? Well, well there see... you go, Janong. <laughs> yeah, it's disabled. If you want to try and slice it. If I got a long. All right. I mean, I got a long ways to come. Well, what, no, whatever. Come over to my shop. Yeah. I think I got his attention. So I have to double. Yeah. Is that probably double move to there? Yeah, see, it's, yeah, that's still probably another double move to get over to him. Yeah, double move will probably get you to the vehicle. Yeah. Oh my gosh. See, that's why you should have been moved up, man. So playing with your thing. Well, it's still running. 
in its own brain. So getting all the great footage. It's like, no, not only one, but two people got tasered by this thing. Right. See, so here yeah. I go. Here I think I'm going to get this, you know, oh, you guys are going to be so great and get this See, taken care of. You could have been right <laughs> here ready to jump out and help if need be, but no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Hey, he is being a little cautious because he did take a dirt nap. <laughs> Now, I'm just remember that I've been unconscious this whole time. So, yeah. when it's all over, you can tell me that you single handedly took the dried out, and I will believe you. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. So, until John you moved see up. the footage. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> you could shoot him while he moved up, while you moved up, at least. Uh, I moved, I moved twice. Uh, your pistol ain't going to do. Well, yeah. it's just an action, but that's fine. All right. Next. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to use to that brings us to you. Yeah, I'm going to use my ion uh, stunner again. Okay. You want to get closer to make it easier? Uh, no. Can I talk you into getting to danger? <laughs> no. Shit. Well, you. Rolled before I could get your difficulty dice. Are you going to game? Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? I'm not tempted moving. to. Yeah, aim. If you're not going to move, aim. That's free. Okay, let's aim. Ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> yep. I was just making sure it's all in there. Go ahead and roll when you're ready. <laughs> Hey, 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 you still got a better results. <laughs> okay, so, um, so it's Ion, so has he, I mean, it's gonna fuck him up further, or? Well, he, he, his soak seems to soak a lot of that up. Heck, yeah, it so might have been your ion dam damage that hurt to your buddy's hand there. That's a funny thought. No. <laughs> yeah. Fine, oh. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give. Um, I'm gonna give a blue to the next one of us that goes, and I'm gonna take a point of strain back since I don't want to get hit by this thing. Or well, okay. <laughs> So top of the order, I've it's only got stunned. It's going air, 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 targeting loss. Tar and its, its little eyeballs are moving around anime style robot, looking for its target. As it's literally they're rolling back in its head. So who is going first? Well, I'm upon it, so we're gonna swing away again. Okay, using the old left hook. Yep. Yep. Okay, so let me set up your pool. Are you aiming? Yep. Okay, are you wishing you had true aim? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. All right, here we go. There's balance in the force right now. Just God, saying. Man. Okay, so you do hit it. Yeah, 10 points. Nothing to activate stun again. Damn it. I mean, you do see little bits of sparks come off some of the iron, iron plating that you're, you know, jacking up. It's not looking too good. It's got some gaping holes and it's got some missing chunks, you know. It's got two smoking barrels. Yeah. So who's going next? So the, from to move from here to up next to him would be everything, right? That would right? be a double move, yeah. So either two strain or using your action as an additional maneuver. Yeah, I'll take the two strain. Okay, so you're running up on the droid? Yep. <laughs> you're being crazy. I like this. You Sometimes wanna... things become desperate. All right, so now I want to I wanna hack him. Okay, and you have your uh, data pad for the blue dice? Yeah. Okay. Ready? 
I'm thinking so. You should. I was gonna say you should have over there. I was gonna hit mine if you weren't gonna hit yours. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you know, I flipped the point. Oh yeah. As here you are on this this battling rattling battle bot, and you're gonna try to find that itty bit little belly button. Right. Put your data for it. Right. Right. All right. Well, I'm sure he's familiar with that. Hill. I'm sure he's familiar Damn. with that final robot. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously. You've done this before once or twice. <laughs> and for you, you like lick your port to make it go in that data port really smooth. <laughs> extra conductive, you know. That way it doesn't get jammed in there because, you know, you don't ever want to cross the threads. Right, right. <laughs> so needless to say, reduce the time required by a lot with your, your six successes. And uh, is there any additional information you'd like to know for your three advantages? Or would you just like to do something else with your three advantages? Uh, I would like to know... Hmm, what would I want to know? This planet only has three cable channels. That's why they're having... <laughs> and the president's on all three of them. Right, right. <laughs> President, uh, um, who's the mastermind behind the uprising? <laughs> yeah, but we already know that, don't we? Well, we we have no, an we inkling. Just, yeah. We have we have suggestions. Nothing concrete, but it's very much likely. Hold up, what's the person's name? Let me roll up yeah. a little. Hold on. General Norris is responsible for the uprising. General and his girlfriend, uh, we were warned about. The girlfriend is the one that does the dirty work. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. She could also be the one that put him up to all this shit. Yep. So She's the one I'm after. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, if yeah, you'd I mean, like, I can give you for the three advantages... Any systems hacked by the hacker who did this hack, who you believe was a pretty good hack until you got there and you hacked the hack, <laughs> that you would get a blue dice on any of that hacker's hacks. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, and the hacker's tag is Ion Storm. Ooh, oh, Ion God. Storm. Because you know those slicers, <laughs> they mark everything just like you just did. Right. <laughs> You're just like, was hacked by. Nah. They got their hidden code in there. Okay, so you have it hacked. I mean, what is the first command you're giving it? Uh, stand down. Obey us. Obey me. Not us. <laughs> wow. Um... Yeah, I think that's it for now. This. <coughs> okay. And currently, you when you get its little readout, you do know that, uh, by the way, it's got uh, basically five wounds left and eight strain left. <laughs> you guys almost oh, broke this thing, almost man. Almost got it. It's got little life bars on how much strain and wounds it's got. <laughs> And currently, it's got a few different system error malfunctions, including its uh, lethal weapon package. Well, you could can repair some. Those? You could repair some wounds on it. Yeah, how do I fix those? Which uh, it includes a pair of heavy blaster rifles integrated with long range. They have auto fire and cumbersome three damage ten crits on three. Jeez. Yeah, I want to try and fix this guy, like. Yeah, it's working for you now. You don't have a patch? And, and he also has sub-programming uh, called uh, Barrage 2 that uh, adds two damage to all gunnery or range attacks at medium or long range. And Brace 2 to remove up to two blacks due to environmental conditions. And also a program called Point Blank 4, which adds four damage to all range heavy and range light attacks made at short or engaged range. Ouch. Oof. It's kind of kind of a beast. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like to say you're welcome for taking those weapons out early on. Otherwise, he <laughs> yeah, but I have to fix it. And it could have been a TPK. It could have, oh. but it got didn't. grenades still. <clears throat> yeah, but so yeah. What, what do I have to roll back here? 
<laughs> okay, so uh, what part of it are you trying to repair? The uh, the cannons? Yeah, the cannons first. Okay, so it's basically like trying to repair a crit. So it is, let me put the difficulty in there. Would it be my mechanics? Uh, yep, it's going to yeah. be your mechanics. All right. You don't have a... Uh... You Hold can't on. hack the hardware. Yeah, Hold you don't on. have Hold a on. patch? No. For the hit points? Hold on, let me check uh, and see if we can get you some aid. Let me see what my mechanics is. She's like, at the very least, I'll give you a blue. Nope, sorry. I've only got two green in it. I have a yellow and a green, but I'm unconscious. <laughs> As you all are fixing the droid, like, oh yeah, the Jedi hasn't moved in a while. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, go over and, like, wake up the Jedi. <laughs> As the Jedi's just drooling into the dirt. He's comfortable. Ion Storm hurts. All Bust right. out your canteen Fancy and splash some water in her face. Checking <laughs> when repairing items. Okay, so you get a blue for repairing items. Nice. So his weapons are up and running. Very, <laughs> very nicely. Priorities. Okay, so you, you have reactivated the heavy rifles he has integrated into his system. Right. Does he need is uh, or does she need the medicine to get unconscious? Yeah, I uh, mean, you, is it what's the Star Wars version of smelling salts? Uh, well, there's lots of things equivalent to smelling salts, but uh, basically, <laughs> it's going to be a medicine check. It's only average to wake her up, so uh, got the you best can slap her with your leku. I've, yeah, I've I'm got, gonna like. I've got six green in medicine. Yeah. Um, Janong, if you could uh, All right. come over here and do the medicine Wake thing. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. So first, Janong's going over and he's working on the droid. And afterwards, he's like, oh, yeah. The yeah. Jedi's so sleeping. Oh, oh yeah. That was my chance the... to take the Jedi's lightsaber and make it my own. <laughs> Put it on the robot. Now he's got <laughs> fucking melee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for the medicine? Sure. Yep. Bam. Okay, so easily you come up and you slap a cheek and you slap a cheek and you loosen her robes and she regains consciousness. Hey, pew pew, you're welcome. <laughs> Victorian medicine, loosen her clothes. All right, so how many strength does that give me? Okay, so it basically brings you up to one. Okay. Because we're ignoring that threat that would have taken you down. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> you get wounds back. Wait a minute. I don't need wounds. I need strain. Right. <laughs> okay, so you guys take some time to basically work on the uh, vehicle. Get you know, get it all set up. Set up the droid to follow you guys. I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. What's the so? What's the vehicle exactly? Uh, it's basically a hover truck that's got lots of cargo space. You could even go back to your ship and uh, fill it up. That is an option. Just saying. Nothing um, Nothing in the truck then? Currently nothing in it, no. Okay. Just Whatever hostage. was in it was obviously stolen. Now you just have a tied-up commander in the back. And so at this point, can I make a cool check to get some additional strain back? Uh, you could do cool checks, yeah. Yeah, me, might as well. Let, hold on, let me take the purples out. Because there's still two purples in there. Okay, you're good to go. God, I suck. It's just that Zarek mm -hmm. doesn't need to regain strain is what it is. Zarek is always adequately strained. <laughs> so it's you're one for a success, right? It's one for a success and one, uh, yep, one for success. What do I do with that light side point that I get on my... Cool roll. Does that do anything? Uh, uh, what's it give you on a cool roll? So. I don't think it does anything for a cool roll, honestly. It just is. Or did you just not clear the pool when you up at the top? No, it's so. I didn't clear the pool when I up at the top. You're very right. Okay. So, disregard that. <laughs> well, it's, no, okay. it's still the one. 
So you guys basically, are you going to go back to the ship and load up the stuff in the truck? Or are you going to continue on to uh, Fort Garnick first and then go unload the, the ship stuff? Yeah, I don't think we're really making a delivery now, are we? Well, that delivery well, fell through because we didn't trust that guy. So maybe we, uh, we could okay. get a favor by delivering the weapons to the base. I mean, it seems like the, they could use them. Okay, only if they're going to pay for it. For, forget. He had these on consignment. <laughs> right. right. True. And the guy that we're we delivering have, to... We have a d battle droid to right. help negotiate. Well, and the guy at the base is the guy that the delivery was for who doesn't have the money. Correct. So, no, we'll just go talk. Wait, was it... The guy at the base who didn't they were for? I, th I thought they he were was for representing. Yes, the guy well, at the base. Yes, yeah, in that case, yep, yeah, yeah, we don't want to bring him. You're right. But we need to sell these to somebody because we need to make our money back. Because the people we have these on from consignment from, um, <sighs> yeah, we can find somebody to sell to. Don't worry, the Republic will just requisition it, or, uh, yeah. or I forgot what it's called rebels. when they seize something. <laughs> <laughs> they just, uh, <laughs> no. I say we go to the base, we go deal with our guy, I okay. need to have business with him, and we'll see who's in charge at the base. So you guys all load up in the truck, two people can sit in the front, the rest can sit in the little covered back that's back there. It looks almost, it's almost like a deuce and a half, you know, but it's a hover truck. All right. The so droid fit back there, there by chance? Your, uh, the droid will not, but it will oh, okay. follow along behind you guys. It can Darn. keep up with you guys. Okay. Do you want me to look at your hand? Yeah, if you can fix that, that'd be. Jim, awesome. I'm going to make as many cool checks as I can possibly make to get back strain. So uh, go ahead and do your mechanics to try to repair his arm. There is going to be a black dice because you're going down a bumpy road on a bumpy hover truck. Nice. It's so much nicer to say, pull over so we can do this. But it's not medicine, so it's okay. Everyone will probably be trying to get their cool back. Mm -hmm. I know, he's trying to get my own <laughs> face, so. Okay, so yeah, he fully repairs your armor at, like, nobody's right. business. Sweet. Thank you. So he's like, click, click, click. That was the problem. Your feedback loop was, was overloaded. Um, okay, so who is driving, by the way? I am. Okay. I assume it counts as piloting land. Piloting planetary. Yep. Yeah. Who's shotgun? Unless, does anybody have a better planetary piloting than one uh, yellow and three green? Nope. Four green. Uh, planetary piloting? Yeah, planetary. No. no. I'm a yellow and a green, so. Okay, yeah, I'm piloting. So okay, the next so time I work on your arm, I get a blue die. Nice. <laughs> so who's riding shotgun? Uh, and we know it's not Janog since he's doing repair work in the back. I was going to say, right. probably no, I'm Jedi. in the back, so it's going to Yeah, I was going to say, if he's doing repair work, then uh, Zarek would have to be in the back as well. So it's yep. probably me. I mean, you could always leave her alone up there. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I'll ride shotgun. Yeah. Okay, so immediately you guys kind of come over the rise and you see the, the first gates of the base. And you guys kind of pull up and they immediately like draw weapons on you like they're seriously on edge. And they're just like, identify yourself. And who are these people? Are these... These, these are Republic soldiers wearing their uniforms loud and proud. Oh, okay. So. Did we get some kind of free passage from those guards we helped out near the uh, starport? Uh, you did. Mm -hmm. You like, need to drop the dime and, you know, drop names and stuff. Okay. Okay, so uh, which one of you two uh, name drop with the guards? I will. Okay. I think I have the best. Uh, yep. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. As they're just like, you know, you got it, ma'am. And they open the gates for you and they lower the little barricades that pop out of the ground. And you're zooming up the road to the fort. You see there's fortifications there, a couple of different fortified buildings, bunkers, a couple of these droids, just like the ones that's following you, only they're actually in the proper color scheme. And, you know, 
surveying the horizon for targets. And as you guys are zooming up there, that's a good place to wrap it up there. Yay! So you guys do get uh, 15 experience since you did save the truck and the droid. <laughs> see? See? <laughs> now the question is when you get back to the base with the droid, whether the uh, base will let you keep the droid or not. Oh, it, it, yeah. it's mine. <laughs> You totally programmed into self-destruct or a virus, into it. <laughs> right? If it leaves my care, it will self-destruct in five minutes. <laughs> Pulls the Ed two hundred nine countdown. So, um, credits breakdown. Um, you only received uh, that one cred stick that had uh, f about a little over four hundred <laughs> credits, like four fifteen. But we did take the other stuff, so hopefully we can pawn so, the armor uh, and the utility belt and the. Because I already have a utility belt. I think everybody's got a utility belt by now. You yep. slap a utility belt on your battle droid. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he needs one personality. Little utility belts around its thighs. Fred, Fred gets a utility belt. Hold on to these, Fred. So who's keeping uh, who's keeping track of all this stuff? Um, I did put that in my notes, but I don't have a whole lot of the previous ones of you know, like any loot that we got. But I did write down this loot: the four hundred credits, the it just means in the heat of two the more fragments, the desert laminate armor, utility belt, and the spare clip. All right. I, so worry about like selling and awarding credits like <laughs> at the end of the session, I'd imagine, or not yeah. session, but at the end of this arc. Yeah, and I do have one of the frag grenades on me, so. Yeah. Well, I've taken two from the original guys. You right, used but we one used of one. them, and we have two more. So you have uh, one. one, and I have two. Yep. And Zarek has that rifle <clears throat> rifle from the first boss, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, the blaster uh, rifle. The really nice long-distance rifle. And there was some armor that Zarek took, I believe? Yeah. Yeah, I got the armor. As you guys are now for Garrick. Nice. That was no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, or I can go for starting to reflect some uh, some damage. Okay. It's uh, late in my day, gentlemen, so I am going to say a great evening. night. Yep. Thank you. Have a good one. Good, night. good job, guys. Yep. You too. All right. Have a good night, guys. Later. All right. I think I'm going to go reflect so that I can start to. Reflect is good for reducing damage. Get? Uh, 15 yes. experience points. Well, nice. part of my thing right now is trying to get up into melee without getting seen and shot at. Reflect would make it a little easier for me to just charge in. Yeah, and be able to hopefully reduce any potential incoming. Yep. That way, that that first round for closing distance, you know. Because the problem is, it takes, you know, two maneuvers to get into, from medium to short. Yep. And then from short to engaged. Yeah, if that's something you have, it's not a bad thing to look at. Especially if you can get the force, uh, the leap on enhance that lets you go from medium to engaged instantly. That's a super duper nice power. That's basically the one in Battlefront that uh, Palpatine's character has. You can just like turbocharge towards things. Mm turbocharged that unleash the area effects. Right. So, reflect is... Yeah, for me, 15, I don't know. 15 is not enough, but just enough, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's that third rank in the skill, or it's one or two uh, tiny, tiny talents. Well, so my thing is, is like, do I do bypass security... Or do I do another defensive slicing? 
Oh. Mm, bypass See, sounds good, but I have to look at what, it. What that's telling me is if you go defensive slicing, means you want to have a hack off with somebody. You know, have that total net runner feel of right. a hack off. Oh, dude. So I already have the improved defensive slicer. So I have three yellow and three green as it stands. But with the improved defensive slicing, it upgrades the difficulty one per every defensive slicer. It used to add just a black die. Now it upgrades my greens to yellows. Mm-hmm. So that'll be like that is six yellows. That's crazy. <laughs> Too bad I don't have leadership. <laughs> some of the marksmen or the some of the uh, mercenary soldier uh, skills are leadership. And it's like, mm, yeah, those don't do me shit. <laughs> you start becoming the uh, evil Captain America. Yeah, but I have one leadership, one green. <laughs> well, is, is it a career skill? Um, leadership is a career skill, so yeah. So you could, could at least, you know, for, for 10 points, you know, for 15, you could get a gold and a green. True, true. But I'll worry about when I get, get there. I think I'll be taking natural marksman, which is 15 and gives me once per session may reroll one range light or heavy check. Mm-hmm. Saves think? you from one botch. Yep. Or one really bad botch. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All righty, guys. I'm going like to go ahead and log roll. off. Like, oh, yeah, yep, exactly. <laughs> All right. Later, guys. Thanks. Have a good one, Jim. So I can do bypass security. What's that give you? uh, Bypass security removes one black die per rank of security of Skullduck.